Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will see how to implement half adder using Verilog in Xilinx IIC. So, let's get started. Before starting with the Verilog implementation of half adder, I will give a brief introduction on what exactly is a half adder. So, a half adder is a combinational circuit which adds two numbers. Over here, we are having the two numbers A and B. The output is expressed as sum and carry. So, we are having a combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So accordingly, if you add, we have the sum and carry over, over here. Sum is 1, carry is 0. Uh, over here, again, sum is 1, carry is 0. 1 plus 1 gives uh, sum 0 and carry 1. So by looking at this truth table or by making a k-map, we can conclude that the output equation for sum is given as a x or b and for carry, it is a and b. Now, Coming to the gate level implementation, we can implement the half adder circuit using an AND gate and an XOR gate. So now let's implement the half adder using Verilog. So here I have opened my uh, ISC suit. I will click here on new project. So this is my working directory. You can change it as per your convenience. I will enter the name as let's say half adder. Half adder. Click on next. Uh, keep this as it is. Click on next. Click on finish. So we have already created the project and we have to add the source file. So click here on new source. Select Verilog module. Name this as HA. Click on next. Over here you can basically define the ports. Basically uh, the pins and you can also select whether they are input, output or in out. In this case I want to explicitly write and show it to you. That's the reason I'm not naming anything over here. Click on next. Click on finish. So this is the file that has been generated. As I had explained in the half adder that there are two inputs and two outputs. So basically we need four ports. Two of them will be input and two of them will be output. So over here we have to define those ports. So one way of doing is you basically name them in sequence. So let's say a comma b comma sum and carry now after this i'll just take this up here now after naming the ports above we have to specify whether they are input or output or in out so uh, i will write as input a comma b and give a semicolon and output sum comma carry so now i have defined that sum and carry are the output port and a and b are the input ports Another way of doing this is you directly write input over here only like this. Even this is valid. So you write input for A, input for B and output for sum and carry like this. So even this is valid. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you like this. Now we are done defining the ports. And now in this video, I'm going to uh, write this code in data flow modeling. So what is data flow modeling? So basically we use assignment statements to uh, describe what is happening in the circuit. Now we saw in our uh, PDF over here that the sum is given by A, X or B. So what I can do is I can write assign sum is equal to A, X or B like this. Also we saw that carry is A and B. So assign carry is equal to A and B. So like this we define the sum and carry in data flow modeling now we have to check the syntax so we go to simulation select this ha.v file click here and double click on behavioral check syntax so yes i'll save my file so yeah it says uh, completed successfully that means there are no errors found now we can do two things one thing is we can use a test bench we will provide inputs through it and we will check the functionality of a circuit that is whether it is behaving as per the requirements or not the other thing is synthesizing the circuit synthesizing means that the software will generate a hardware for this particular piece of code so now first let's try to uh, write the test bench for it and let's see whether the circuit is giving us the output as expected or not so for doing that uh, put implementation click on add new source over here 
click on Verilog text picture and uh, let's name this as HA underscore TB, TB for test bench. Click next. This is the associated source. Finish. So uh, it will generate a new file. This is the new file. Over here, you can see it is written time scale 1 nanosecond slash 1 picosecond. So suppose in my test bench, if I'm giving any kind of a delay, so that delay multiplied by this number over here, it is 1 nanosecond is the actual delay. Okay, suppose I want a 5 nanosecond delay and over here I have written time scale 1 ns. So wherever, wherever I'm writing, let's say hash 5, that hash 5 will mean 5 nanosecond. Suppose that nanosecond is millisecond, then this hash 5 will mean uh, 5 milliseconds. So it's up to that. So uh, that is the meaning of time scale. So now uh, let's see over here, the module has been created HA underscore TB. Reg A and Reg B are the two inputs. The inputs are of type register and the output data type of uh, sum and carry is wire. So over here, this is the our main file HA.B. You had seen that the module name was HA. So that has been called over here. We basically instantiate the unit under test or a DUT. Sometimes it is called as design under test. And over here, this is basically mapping of ports. So this a b sum and carry is mapped with the new variables a b sum and carry which are uh, created over here so over here under initial begin block we basically give the inputs so this can be so a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 can be also written as 1 b 0 sorry so this means one bit binary number and the value is 0 so the same can be even done for this and now i'll just uh, Take this up like this and also I'll remove and I'll give the delay over here. Now over here the delay is 100 nanoseconds. You can even uh, reduce it. Let's reduce to uh, 10 nanoseconds like this. Now again I will uh, give the other inputs. Now a values of a and b will be 0 and 1. So um, I'll just put it 0 semicolon b equal to 1b1 1 1. and again i'll provide a delay of uh, 10 nanosecond so right now i need not write ns because i've already mentioned about in the time scale command so now my other two inputs are a is 1b1 1 1 and b is 0 this and a is now 1 and b is also 1 and i'll again give a delay of 10 nanoseconds so this is done now we have to check whether the circuit is functioning as a half adder or not so we go to simulation i select this file and i'll check the syntax save my code first yeah it says it has been completed successfully that means there are no errors now I'll simulate the behavioral model. I'll just zoom in to fit everything. Yeah. Just bring this over here. So A is 0 and B is 0. The expected sum and carry are 0. Now A is 0, B is 1. We can see sum is 1, carry is 0. Now B is 0, A is 1. So as expected sum is 1 carries 0 over here a and b both are 1 carries 1 and sum is 0 so our circuit is correctly working so now let's see about synthesis now I'll close this yes so for synthesis i'll go to this original file over here and now i'll go to implementation select this file i'll click over here and i'll click on view rtl schematic I'll click OK. I'll basically add these uh, ports and I'll click on create schematic. So, this is the box. I'll double click to expand it. I'll just fit over fit it. So, this is the circuit that has been generated by this synthesizer. 
So this is how you basically write a code in Verilog. You check the functionality of the circuit by uh, writing the test bench and simulating. You can also synthesize the hardware for it. So this is it for this video. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.